Learning about a homicide detective's health scare on the job. Police say the officer was potentially exposed to opioids during a death investigation. Now Orlando's top cop is taking action. News 6's Troy Campbell joins us now live with his sudden change in protocol. Troy. Well, Lisa, actually over the weekend, there were three Orlando police officers that were sent to the hospital. Only one of them that you just mentioned was showing symptoms. So now Chief John Mina, he sent out this directive, adding extra protection in the event any of his officers come in contact with fentanyl. We want our officers to take uh, more precautions than they usually take. Stepping up their level of defense against the highly potent and dangerous drug fentanyl. Orlando Police Chief John Mina says his officers are now following new guidelines after three officers were sent to the hospital this weekend. This directive just you know, further strengthens that policy and um, adds a, an additional protective. The officers were dispatched to an overdose call early Saturday morning. Not long after, one of the officers started feeling ill from a drug inside the apartment. Chief Mina says has since been identified as fentanyl. When they called me uh, this weekend, they described it as he was having trouble breathing. So much uh, the fact that at first he was just going to take himself uh, to the hospital, uh, but then it got progressively worse and um, the supervisor on the scene said, no, let's, let's get you transported. Two other officers were sent to the hospital as a precaution. In May, New 6 showed you this memo sent out to officers of the Orlando Police Department after an officer out of state fell ill after coming into contact with fentanyl. The drug so potent, experts say it can prove fatal simply by touching it with your skin. The memo issued yesterday now requiring officers to use two sets of gloves, one blue, one black, a mask, goggles, disposable gowns and boot covers whenever they come into contact with a drug they suspect is either heroin or fentanyl. And Chief Mina also says that this directives with these rules, they'll help in the immediate, but there's still a process before these new rules can become actual department policy. I'm also told that soon after that officer arrived to the hospital, he started to feel much better. Lisa. That is the good news. Troy Campbell reporting live tonight. Thank you.